Today is all about ADSB, and if you're a pilot, you understand what ADSB is. If you aren't a pilot, um, FAA is doing away with radar, and there's a mandate uh, for 2020 where every airplane that flies in controlled airspace must have an ADSB out receiver, which uses GPS. And it, uh, I guess the main reason it's better is ATC gets reports of where you are and your altitude um, every second as opposed to every four seconds with radar. So it's a little safer, a little better all the way around. Good stuff. So we've got it installed. Daniel Castleberry installed it last night. We got to fly into controlled airspace or at least talk to ATC to make sure it's doing what it's supposed to do. Anyway, uh, let's see how it shakes out. All right, buddy, roll. All righty. So we've got land, we're not landing light, we've got our taxi light, our nav light, and our strobe and nav lights should engage the ADS. What we got here, frequencies, 9.5. All right. Station air, 656, go Charlie taxi to the ramp. Definitely gonna be a sunglass day, I can tell that. Saline County Regional Airport, automated weather observation, 1648 Zulu. Wind, calm, visibility, more than one zero. Sky condition, clear, below one two thousand. Temperature, one six Celsius. Dew point, eight Celsius. Altimeter, three zero one one inches of mercury. Three zero one one for an altimeter. Saline County Traffic Station there, 656 six, Tango Charlie, taxi to runway two, Saline County. Where are you going? We're going to Clarendon. Where are you? Just coming back from Greenville. From Greenville? Yeah, we're about uh, 20 miles out, southeast. Mooney uh, running good? That is awesome, dude. We're sitting there cruising 155, 160. Yeah, that's incredible, man. Congratulations to both of you guys. Great job. Hey, uh, we're going to run to Clarendon. we got to do some ADSB testing. Cool. Have fun. Will do. I wish I was going to be here long enough to watch you land. Okay. Have you caught my boy in uh, South Dakota? He called me back and said, what day are they going? And I need to get that information from you top to bottom. All right, we'll do. We'll figure out when we're going to get there. And uh, does he, well, two-day lead, or you need to know right now? I just hit me later on this afternoon. I'll come by. If y'all going to be around for a little bit, I'll come by. 10-4. Not supposed to be doing anything. That so everybody knows that conversation. You're not supposed to do that. Your buddies are on the uh, on the uh, radio. You're not supposed to have a conversation about pheasant hunting and duck hunting in the Dakotas. In their airplane that they just uh, new prop on, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So if you're a, a green pilot, uh, do not do that. Station Air 656, Tango Charlie, uh, departing runway 20 to the east, Saline County. All right, everything's in the green. 35, 40, 50, and rotate. Got the brakes, smooth everything on a little bit here. Positive rate, gear comes up. I'm at about five, six hundred. We're gonna steepen that just a little bit. All right, right turn to the right. Here we go. Flint County Traffic Station there, six five six Tango Charlie, party to the east. Last call, Flint County. Put around Cater two zero cancel on our Cater two zero on our cancellation received. Four hundred on the drop. Squawk VFR, push time on 5, Cheater 2 0. The Rock Approach, Station Air 656, Tango Charlie uh, with the West. Was that November 656, Tango Charlie calling Little Rock? Yes, sir. Uh, would like to request a flight following to 4 M8, transition the airspace into Clarendon. Also, we've got a new ADSB uh, unit on and like to get uh, any help you might provide and let us know if that thing's doing what you're supposed to. 
Four six Tango Charlie, Roger, stay check aircraft. Cessna two oh six. Four six Tango Charlie, squawk zero two one two. Zero two one two on the squawk. Thank you. Four six five six Tango Charlie, radar contact one at two miles southwest. Little Rock Adam Field, Adams altimeter three zero one two south two. 5-6 Tango Charlie from 1,800 on the way to 4,000. 6 Tango Charlie, Roger. And uh, what did you need from me in order to uh, verify your ADS speed? Well, you know, I called yesterday to ask exactly what I needed to know, and uh, the lady on the phone just told me, hey, tell the controller that uh, he needs to make sure that it's working. So I'm hoping that you can provide that information. 4-6 Tango Charlie, Roger. Yeah, what a day. Roger, Helicopter 932, Sierra Fox, Here we are in the Little Rock airspace, as you can see right here. A nice cruise climb at about 450, 500 feet. We're going to level out at 4,000 and uh, slide over to Clarendon. 932, Sierra Fox, Rod. That time of year, though, we got to start looking out for geese and ducks. Oh, yeah. Number six, Tango, Charlie, contact approach 135.4. Over to 135.4 for 656 Tango Charlie, thank you. Little Rock Approach, Station Air 656 Tango Charlie at 3,300 on the way to 4,000. Over to Tango Charlie, Little Rock Approach, altimeter 3012. Your ADSB appears to be in, uh, operable. Thank you so much, sir. 3012 for 6 Tango Charlie. Arkansas River's looking good. Man, this is such a great time. Arkansas, you know it? It really is. I mean, October, November, the weather is magnificent. There's Adams Field over there. There's the ADSB, if you look right there. You see the little, let me look over here in the white so you can see it. What that does is tell me, hey, there's an aircraft. That aircraft right there is, is 700 feet below us. Right here. And then right here, when we get out of this airspace, here in a little bit, you'll bunch of these other little blue green aqua colored arrows for lack of a better way of putting it those are all airplanes that are being picked up by my ADSB uh, it just gives you a little more traffic than what we have right here look right here we've got active traffic on this I've got one in this screen and one on that screen and and we can you know play with the range a little bit 24 miles to 12 but this ADSB stuff, man, it's it's so much safer, and uh, you know I, I think a lot of people uh, didn't like it, but I'm uh, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm so enthralled with listening to uh, 138 True, 130. Um, as we get into the Grand Prairie of Arkansas, my man, easy, isn't it? You cross the Arkansas River, and literally, pain almost changes. Just yeah. that. Uh, I see that, yeah. It just gets at. at. Good place to grow some rice, man. We're good <laughs> at it. Cruise throttle is where we wanted it, 28 inches on the fold. The props at 2330, which is fine. Uh, we'll use the clean up a little bit, cool things off. I'm going to close the cow flaps. That number right there, 75, gives us our best. See the peak? Minus 75. That's actually 75 plus. And it's all based on temperature. So what that tells us, that's our TIT, our temperature, our turbine inlet temperature for our turbo. And what we're doing is 75 gives us our best economy at the setting that we're at, which we could probably be a little bit, pull a little out on it. And uh, I try to run usually, you know, if it's a short trip, I might do 28 to 30 inches of manifold, but a longer trip, I'll do 26 or 24 savings. But we'll boogie on over here real quick and uh, make sure. Ground speed's 142 knots, which is 165, probably, give or take. Um, the, uh, from a mile per hour standpoint, it's 435. This is your indicated stuff right here, okay? Then that's using the pitot tube, et cetera, without the calculations. This does all the calculations for you that you learn whenever you get your private. You learn how to calculate that based on pressure altitude and barometer and all that stuff, so you get a true speed. 
altimeter. Learn how to do all that stuff, then you buy a G1000, you don't have to do anything anymore. Buy the airplane. <laughs> and that's why a lot of think a lot of the older pilots are, you know, they're not real happy with where we're going in pilots because those guys, they were in tune with what was going on because they had to do all these calculations. No, we're pushing buttons and going wild. You know, this, it, it kind of makes you, it turns you into an idiot. It really does, you know. Well, yeah. When you don't have to use your brain for that's anything. That's right. That's you know. right. You know, it does it all for you, which is nice. But at the same time, it uh, can understand where they're coming from. Uh, read back, correct? No station six tanker charter. You gonna land at Clarendon? No, sir. We're just we're literally uh, checking ADSB. So. Roger Niners here, Romeo, like to terminate radar service. Station 96 Tango, Charlie, Roger, advised uh, Direct Saline County. Direct Saline County, 656 Tango, Charlie, thanks so much. County 90, Romeo, radar service terminal. Oh, uh, Clarendon traffic, 656 Tango, Charlie, a blue and white Cessna is uh, approaching the field. Uh, we're literally going to cross midfield, turn around, head back to the west, Clarendon traffic at 4,000. This is Peckerwood Lake, man. That's a very famous waterfowl hunting lake. Literally in November, December, really, you know, sometime in, in, in late October when we get some weather. It's not uncommon to have 30, 40,000 mallards on that lake right there. Of course, you know, it's just a, the hotel and the dinner tables all around you. I was going to say, it looks like it has a lot of vegetation in the water. Absolutely. I mean, it's... That's what makes this place such a waterfowl mecca. It's pretty crazy. When you look at it, when you get up in the air especially, you look at it and you're like, man, I see what this is all about. All right, here we go. We're going to make the turn. Let the airplane do the work. Stuck guard underneath this. You see it? You see the airport? Oh. Oh, the stuck guard airport? Yep. Oh, yeah. A big old airport. And for all those professionals flying in to uh, That's get, right. get their duck hunting out. That's it. Got a bunch of old dinosaurs down there. Uh, bunch of air, airplanes that are no longer being used anymore. Big ones. There's some big jets down there. Uh, was that I don't know if they. I don't know if they rent the space. You know, I don't know. Uh, interesting. Maintain your presence clock and uh, remain restricted. Oh, you look right here. This is a a Victor Highway, okay? You know? uh, up by Cersei, you can see there's quite a bit of traffic up there right now. I mean, you know, for Cersei, there's three airplanes. It, he's 400 above us. 320 or 30, yeah, 320 feet below us. Probably getting ready to land. Guys, 90 feet below us. So you know that those are all smaller... General Aviation, yeah. of course, you can free room in back in Little Rock, you see some of these guys that are 32,000 feet above us, you know, and they're kind of a part of the board. You can click on it, and it'll tell you, I don't, I don't have it set for this right now, but there it is right there. That is November 4002 Whiskey. Give me that. Call He's at 1,600 feet. 55.7 nautical miles from it. That's all ADSB information. 117 knots. So that tells you he's probably a 172. So I mean, pretty amazing the information. And that's all from ADSB. That's what makes it great. But we'll get the weather, see if there's anything, any changes. Sky condition clear below 1, 2,000. Temperature 1, 7 Celsius. Dew point 7 Celsius. Street altimeter 3, 9 inches of mercury. Remarks. Belts and switches, get our strobes on, landing light, taxi light, light this sucker up a little bit. Ding. Lee County traffic, station air 656 Tango, Charlie's into the downwind, runway 02, Saline County. Pass again, undercarriage, down and welded. We're in the middle here. Sure, get close. Up. Up and switch. Saline County traffic, station air 656 Tango, Charlie's turning base, runway 02, Saline County. Saline County traffic station here, 656 Tango Charlie's turning final, runway 02, Saline County. 
of the sea. And gas. Bridge. Mixture. Top seat belts and switches. Saline County Traffic Station Air 656 Tango Charlie's on the short final for runway 02 Saline County. Under the wings on us. A bit of crosswind from the right. Nothing. Measure. Copy. Copy is I'm going to leave the second set. Leave the third notch flaps out until right before I know we're going to end. Right. Red. Five miles south east of Dallas, Carolina. All right, here we go. Power. Threshold about 72, with a little luck here. Hey, baby, wasn't too bad. Appreciate you coming with me, buddy. I know you got a lot going on, but this will be a huge help. No problem at all. That was probably the, that was actually the smoothest landing I've had with you.